Welcome to My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And today we want to give you an update as it relates to the, el the murder of two elderly ladies in St. Catherine. The police are now reporting that three suspects were arrested for the murders of the elderly sisters in St. Catherine. Now, according to the Jamaica Gleaner, the police have made a breakthrough with the arrest of three suspects in the murder of two elderly sisters in St. Catherine. The men were held on Wednesday, November 10, in the Spring Village community of Old Arbor, St. Catherine. They have been placed in the custody of the Major Investigation Division, which is spearheading the probe. Residents of Spring Village woke up on November 3 to the disturbing news of the gruesome killing of Christine Lewis, 69, a former teacher and justice of the peace, and her physically challenged sister, 72-year-old Lola Lewis. The sisters who lived together were discovered with their throats slashed inside their dwelling. Their houses were reportedly ransacked. Several members of the St. Catherine community condemned the murder in the usual quiet community. Well, I knew this was not going to take long for the police to make a breakthrough. The ages of these elderly ladies gave me all confidence that at some point a breakthrough would have been made. Now, when you have persons like these in communities and when communities um, lashed out or don't uphold to these type of murder, it's not going to be long before the suspects are identified. Spring Village community, um, the rural area back to Old Arbor, these people would be devastated with these type of killings. And to make matters worse, Christine Lewis, 69 year old, is a teacher and a justice of the peace. No matter how gruesome and how, and how volatile some communities are, once you are contributing to nation building and you are taken out like this, persons in the community will give information to the police because persons are persons believe that people like these should not die like that. To make matters worse again, the fact that her sister was physically challenged, a lot of persons would, would be in denial that this actually happened. The minute these people wake up and realize that it has happened, they will start to squeal and let the police know who are the perpetrators. Now, my only thing with this is that i did not really get the age ages of the three men that the police held on to because i can guarantee you these young men these persons who committed these acts are young men in their 20s and they don't intend to work they feel like maybe this teacher may be living off pension and they they were they they are easy prime target they are the, they are in the vulnerable group so they are prime target for them to rob. They, yet they go into the people's place, the elderly people's place, rob them and execute them. What kind of heart these men have? I only hope that after trial and these men are convicted, I only hope that the police will send them away for good. We don't want no plea deal. We are tired of plea deal in Jamaica. We are tired for men to go in front of the court and say they are guilty and they get a slap on the wrist. These two elderly ladies were murdered by hoodlums. Now that the police have located them, we don't want anybody to go in court and, and lawyers be defending them and saying, oh, this is their first time offense and um, you can get persons to vouch for them and all of that. These people should never ever see the light of day again. Christine Lewis, 69 years old, contributed to this the upbringing of a lot of people in Jamaica as a former teacher. And her 72 year old sister, who is physically challenged, 
and cannot be mobile as a lot of persons. Their lives were taken out on November 3. Why should we have these hoodlums that are caught to go into prison and feed off taxpayers' money? We have to do something about it. I hope that justice will be served with these men. It's just a pity that the police did not disclose their name and their age. Because I know for sure that these persons have nothing to contribute to society but to rob, kill and create mayhem. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe. Look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one. And most of all, keep it locked. In my opinion, TV.